Ooh, we have knowing the path come out here. Oh, you guys are aligning with your purpose or accepting the reality of a situation or spirit wants you to know that you're on the right path, okay? Um, who was I going to say? Um, oh, this won't be for any specific sign. If I see any signs that, you know, come out, I will mention them and that could just be like a confirmation for you specifically. Um, but yeah, this won't be for any specific sign, okay? It's just for those of you that are on the Twin Flame journey. All right, what else is going on? Waiting. So, yeah, not taking action. Tell me more. Hypnotized. So someone's holding back right now, but they find it very hard to hold back. This could be you guys maybe pulling your energy back from your twin at this time because you guys know the truth about something or you are more spiritually um, awakened than this person or something like that. You know that maybe this is not the right time for the two of you to come together. You may know that this person needs some time to grow up. You need. You, it's just like something about you know that the timing isn't right or you just know that there's still lessons and growth. That needs to happen on your part or on their part before the two of you can come back together. But there is still very much a connection. There is still very much a pull. I just saw two, two, two on the camera. Um, you guys are maybe still trying to remain hopeful that maybe in the future, maybe after you and this person spend some time apart or, you know, you, you grow, they grow, that you guys can maybe come back together. But there is still definitely a strong bond here. Um, I definitely see that it's hard for you to stay away from this person or it's vice versa. Maybe you guys are having a hard time staying away from each other, okay? Um, yeah, you and this person were going through some type of repetitive karmic cycle or something like that, like not learning the lesson. Maybe Spirit is saying you have finally realized something like you were, you kept repeating a cycle with this person because you weren't seeing that when you were trying to cultivate a relationship with them, they weren't ready or you weren't ready or you both weren't ready. And that's why things are not working. And you guys kept going in circles and you kept repeating the same cycle over and over again. Okay. But I do feel like maybe you guys are coming to terms with that now that this cannot work right now. Maybe in the future, things could be different. But for right now, at your level of growth and at their level of growth, or you know what I mean? Like your maturity level with their maturity level, whatever your amount of experience, there's if this can't work right now, okay? Or you just maybe know that, you know, they need to take some time to really work on themselves. So tell me more. I feel like you guys are starting to accept this. So playing game or foolish. What's up with that? I did say playing game. So what's that have to do with anything? Something is brewing. What is foolish? Finality. Oh. What does this have to do with my twin flame collective? So you guys are healing. You aren't hopeful. What is up with this person? trap they're they're not feeling that great right now they're feeling they're stuck yeah so you guys are the more evolved one in the connection you guys are healing this person's refusing to heal right now like so that's why there's an imbalance here you're wanting to do the it's like you're putting in the work to to grow and evolve and change and mature um you were probably the one putting in the work in this connection as well okay they are in this place of stagnancy not wanting to grow um and heal um, not taking this very seriously. They're still making some really dumb choices. Um, I feel like this person was not taking you very seriously. What were they not taking serious? Tell me about what were they not thinking? See, what did I just see? Delusion? Yes, yeah, self-delusion. They were lying to themselves about something. They've been watching you. Yeah, they've been watching you. Um, or maybe this person is like thinking like, oh, you know, they're thinking that you guys, the collective, is not over them. What, what are they being delusional about? They think this is a game or something. Oh, the two. Maybe this person's still not wanting to come to terms with the fact that this is maybe something deeper than just sex or lust. What about sex and delusion? What are they not seeing clearly? What does this have to do with the collective? Yeah, you're taking a break from this person. I don't know. Like, I feel like you're just, you feel like this person. And look, guys, it's triggering love activation, awakening, heart space, opening, twin flame ascension. So, you know, twin flames do go into separation. And it does look like this is one of those cases where you and this person are about are in separation already, where you're about to go into separation. 
this person is like, what? Are, I, I need one more card. What is this person? What is not? What is being the lying? What about commitment? Jealousy. What does that do to this person? Love bomber. Um, this person thinks that you're going to chase them. This person just is not coming to terms with a lot of things. They lie to themselves. They're not seeing reality clearly. They kind of live in their own world. They're still trying to decide if this is love or lust. Or like they're just more like in a sexual energy. Like they're not wanting to maybe have anything very deep. They're, they're more in a more sexual energy or something like that. But they definitely have like abandonment issues. Like they have low self-worth. They need they need people to validate their self-worth. Um, yeah, they maybe want your validation or something here. Jealousy. They don't want anybody else to have you. You know, whatever's going on with this person. I don't know. We're going to get more clarity. But you guys are definitely taking a break from this person. And they're they're feeling stuck. They feel stuck right now or like they're, they're not progressing in life or they're not, nothing is moving for them. It's because they're refusing to grow and change. Like they're being, they're, they're refusing to face reality. But I feel like you guys are hopeful about your future, whether it's with this person or with someone else or by yourself, whatever it is. You just know that you have good things coming towards you. You are focusing on healing and you're taking a break from this situation. What I'm intuitively getting from this is that this person is thinking that this is a game. What if something is brewing? Home. What about home? Shocking events and opposites. And what does that have to do with anything? Proof that what? Proof showed itself that, yeah, it's like. This person is still trying to decide what this is between the two of you. They don't really, are they, they know, but they're not coming to terms with it. Why are they feeling trapped? I just feel like it's more of a stuck energy, stuck energy. Oh no, they're feeling stuck because, all right, what about the, yeah, I told you mixed feelings. Yes, yes. So let's see here with the finality energy, before I get into this, it's like, you feel like this person feels like you are their home. Like they, it's like you you give them a feeling of home. It's like, they kind of feel like they're, they belong with you or, you know, you make them feel very at peace and, but it's like, I feel like this person just doesn't realize that this finality here, something is reaching its like climax or breaking point. This could be you guys just getting fed up with this person. Um, anyways, you guys are, like I said, def definitely taking a, I'm going to put this over here because I want to take a deeper look at Foolish. What's up with that? Um, you guys are focusing on yourself. Some of you guys are even going on a vacation. Um, for others of you, this person feels stuck because they're conflicted. They're unsure of this relationship. They don't know what this is. They don't understand what this connection is between the two of you. But they also feel like they cannot move on from you. Like they can't make up their mind about what they want to do about this connection. But they also... Like part of them does want to come in and mend things with you, but they're not sure or they're, they're conflicted. So yeah, it's like they feel, yeah, they feel you. You guys are energetically connected. They're haunted by the thoughts, the memories of you. They feel like they cannot escape you in this connection, but they are still very unsure or conflicted about what they want to do about this. Um, why is that? Why are they so conflicted? Why are they angry? I feel like this person feels triggered by this connection, which I mean, twin flame connections do that. You know what I mean? I feel like they feel triggered. Um, they maybe know that to have this relationship with you, they're going to have to. Yeah, I feel like it's. What is revenge body for this person? Hot and cold. It's like this person knows that to be with you, they're going to have to change. They're going to have to make sacrifices. They're going to have to, you know, raise their vibration. They're going to have to work on themselves. And, and I feel like you guys have been trying to work on yourselves as well. And I feel like you're actually putting in the work to grow and change. This person...
I don't feel like they're ready. This person's angry that you're you're happy without them or something. What? Maybe that's what this is. They're conflicted. They don't know what to do because they still feel they want this with you. Part of them wants to come in and mend things with you. This person is afraid that they, they feel like you're sending them mixed signals or they have a lack of clarity about you. And they, they're, all they have, maybe they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. I did see that. And it's like, they're afraid that they're going to like, you know, they're trying to catch your vibe based off what they're seeing online or however they're watching or keep, keeping tabs on you. And they, they're, they're afraid that they'll have, they'll get the wrong idea about you. They'll come, they'll make the decision to come towards you and then you'll get rejected or something like that. Or, I mean, not you'll get, they'll get rejected or something like that. It's like you're showing this person a lot of things about themselves that they didn't maybe want to come to terms with or that they didn't want to face about themselves. And um, I feel like that's why this is pretty triggering to them. But I do feel like this person feels like, what does happiness have to do with the collective? Because I feel like you guys, yeah, love activation. Let's see for this person. Lessons. Yeah, they're learning a very, um, oh, a divorce on the back of the deck. They maybe needed to, to get a, a divorce or something. Yeah, they've had some type of bad. They had some type of tumultuous past relationship. And it could be something that they're still involved in. They maybe need to get a divorce, terminate a marriage, still need to separate from that situation. But I definitely feel like they are... They have a lot of regrets from things that they've done in the past. And they are having a hard time maybe letting that go or forgiving themselves for those things. Yeah, they are probably possibly a player. Um, but, or they cheated on their ex-wife, ex-husband, whatever. Hmm. They've had some not so great love experiences in the past. Let's just put it that way. But they're learning some type of lesson here. Yeah, they're jealous. What about, why does sex keep coming out? Unrequited phone call. Oh, this person may try to reach out to you to try to um, act on lustful desires. Because I told you this person is okay with having like sex or something like that. But when it comes to having something more deeper, that's where they draw the line. You know what I mean? So, um... They have a fear of losing you. Maybe they're thinking that maybe you're sleeping with somebody else. I feel like they're coming towards you wanting to keep up this cycle. You want something deeper. You know, you yeah, I feel like, and so you guys are not going to be on the same page. They're about to read, you're going to be hearing from this person. Not budging. Yeah, they're about to feel very rejected. Yeah, I feel like they're going to try to come towards you to sleep with you. I'm just going to be honest with you. Or what does the mutual feelings mean for this person? Secrets. See, they're coming towards you and still not wanting to tell you how they really feel about you. Like, they're still wanting to keep that a secret. They're trying to keep their love for you a secret. I don't know why, but they want to sleep with you. Why is that? Like, I mean, I know why, but why? Work. Just expect to hear from this person and they're coming towards you with not the, the best intentions. They're not coming towards you. They're still not taking this very seriously. They're coming towards you, I feel like, with lustful desires. And I feel like you guys are not going for this anymore. This has been coming through a lot in my collective, like just in general for all the signs. Like you, you guys are over these cycles, like this surface level crap. You want something more meaningful and deep. I feel like you guys... Um, are not going for this. Like, I just expect to hear from this person. Because I see them trying to come towards you and make amends. But just know that this person's being honest. Or they're, they're acting on selfish intentions. Like, goodness. Tell me about foolish, carelessness, not serious, playing games. Okay? Stringing you along. This person may come and tell you 
So first of all, they think that you're maybe moving on from them. So they want to keep you strung along. Be Also be careful of this person coming towards you. And telling you that they're serious about changing and getting their life together and leveling up. But Spirit is saying that this is just a means to try to string you along. They're giving you false hope. Yeah, mutual feelings. Spotlight. What's that mean? Addiction. What's destructive? See? Why does sex keep coming out? Somebody maybe has a sex addiction? Lord. What's that do with anything? Love offer. Yeah, it's like they're trying to, this is what this person does to you. Wow, guys. What this person does to you is that they come and they sell you a dream. They, they offer something to you or express a little bit to you just to get you to be able to like to sleep so that they can act on their sexual desires or their selfish desires with you. But they're still toxic. Like, yeah, there's something you're maybe possibly about a sex addiction or something. Mm-mm. But they may tell you that they do want to be with you. They want to settle down with you. They want to commit to you. The feelings are mutual. There will be an equal give and take. They will give more to the connection. They want to compromise. And then they start holding back from you. Wow, guys. Yeah. Yeah, they start holding back. And then it's like when they start feeling too much. It triggers them, and then they, like, start holding back from you. So, like, they do have deeper feelings for you, but I told you they're trying to run from these feelings. Right now, at least. They're not wanting to come to terms with them. But, like, this person has no, no trouble sleeping with you. They definitely could have some type of addiction, whether it's a sex addiction, whatever type of addiction it is. Bad habits, destructive behaviors. They're destructive to themselves and to others. Playing games. This is like a game that they play or like a, they're just not taking this seriously. It's so that they come in and they offer you a lot. They, they sell you a dream and then they start holding back from you once they start feeling things. Yeah, that's, yeah. How does this person truly feel about, um, how does this person truly feel about um, my, my collective? depressed they're depressed over you they're grieving you they're kind of feeling a bit pessimistic or hopeless what about divorce so this could be for some of you somebody that you are married to or they what is that about separation they maybe feel like things are too complicated to make this work well how do they feel about the collective yeah they feel very like they feel like you're very like they're very attracted to you tempting alluring I feel like they know that this is not good for either of you. They deep down know that. Yeah, they're hiding their true feelings. Why though? How do they feel about this collective? What are they lying about? See, that keeps coming out. Th this person maybe tries to play it off like they're pretty confident or, you know what I mean? Like they've got a lot of good things going for them. But they actually are very... Um, insecure and they need other people to validate their worth this person's really up in their head thinking about the fact that they're running out of time this person is weighing heavy on this person that they haven't had like they haven't gotten any action from you or anyone this person maybe doesn't like being single completely single for long like they like it's like they need their little refill you know what i mean that they get and then they start they go back into their shell oh goodness this is crazy And I feel like you guys are coming to terms with this. I feel like you guys maybe wanted something more with this person. Um, let me see. But I feel like you're starting to, you, you know what this person does now. You know that they play games. You, you've got their game down. Like, you know what they do. You know, how to, see, jealousy. Why does jealousy keep coming out? How does the collective feel about this person? Single. Bad intentions. You feel like you need to just stay a, a single. Because you feel like you can't. There's red flags. They, you feel like this person's a liar. They keep secrets. You feel like you need to protect yourself from them. Yeah. You feel like maybe one day, like I said, you and this person could possibly have something. 
once a person um, has a shift in perspective, they learn some lessons, they raise their vibration, maybe then they'll, there'll be hope for this. But yeah, you feel like they're emotional, emotionally manipulative, that they love bomb you. They definitely do. This is all love bombing energy. And I feel like you guys are realizing this about this person now. Um, why does jealousy keep coming out? What's that mean for this person? They just don't want anybody else to have health healing. This person's going to be jealous that you are... Wow. And what's this mean for this person? Wow. So. Wow. Okay. 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 All right, guys. Yes. So this person is triggered and they're jealous and they're not happy that you're coming into this new self. This new self that can see right through their BS. This new self that's not settling. Um, this new self that's willing to wait until, you know, something comes towards them that is, you know, what they want or you're healing, you're, you, you're reevaluating your needs. And you're like, no, this person's not meeting my needs. They're not even capable of meeting my needs. So that means that's not, that's something I shouldn't engage in. Um, you guys are starting to move forward and you're, you're loving yourself. You're practicing self care. And I feel like this person is not expecting this. Who did I do a reading for Capricorn? Yes. This is like Capricorn's wheat reading. So some of you guys could be a Capricorn or you're dealing with Capricorn. Um, and I feel like they're not expecting this your new self they're not expecting the new you all right but what's happening here and they're going to be very they're going to maybe be playing the victim at first but they're going to be grieving this they're going to be depressed they're going to be feeling like yeah they're not going to be happy about this but guys look what's coming towards you though wedding cleanup abundance engagement you're going to be hearing from this person but just know that they're still going to be toxic and yet it's not something that you should they're going to be misleading you manipulating you all right, it's going to be a repeat of this cycle. This is not something that you should engage in. You and this person are not on the same page right now. But hold on, I want to, before I, tell me about the, what's happening with this person with this, after this shocking event with depression. Yeah, yes, on the verge of what? Yeah, so what's that mean for this person and this connection? They have a decision to make. Yeah, they're going to make a decision. What are they going to decide? What about, yeah, they're going to have to decide if they want to accept this connection. See, jealousy is coming out again. Like, this person is jealous. They don't want anybody else to have you. Guys, you are dealing with an extremely stubborn person. But what's about to happen here? This is about to um, give this person a reality check. I don't know who I did a reading for it to last week that was the about the wake-up call. I don't know. I can't remember right now, but it's like this person's about to get a get to the point where they're at a breaking point. They're not gonna be able to keep holding back from you and running from this anymore because you're letting them go. Like they know that you're like, they're like, oh shit, like the, the collective's letting me go now for real. Like they're gonna find someone better. So it's forcing them to make a dip for what. You guys may not feel like it should be a difficult decision, but for them it is because this is a big thing for this person because they're going to have to stop running from themselves. They're going to have to really face some really difficult things about themselves and heal. And that's not always easy. And um, it's like it's just getting to the point where they can't keep this at a surface level relationship anymore. They're jealous because they don't want anyone else to have you. So now they're like, oh, shit, I'm going to have to hurry up and decide now because they're going to find someone better. They're moving on. They're letting me go. They were really trying, and you're standing your ground. They have no choice now. Like, you're forcing this person to either, you know, choose you, change, or you guys are moving on with separate lives. You know what I mean? Like, but with wedding, cleanup, abundance, and, and engagement here, I do see a future between you and this person. I do see them cleaning up their life, making healthier choices, cutting out the negativity. I see you and this person actually having, you know, being very um, abundant together, wealthy having you know making good money together being that power couple here they're going to choose you they're 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 they're, they're being forced to make a choice here but it looks like this person is going to choose you and to choose to take things to the next level i see an engagement i see marriage i see you guys making it official if it was never official okay but they have to have this this wake-up call this tower that's shocking events as a tower for this person yeah this is just like capricorn's reading um, so it's like you leaving this, you not going back into this with them is causing a tower moment for them, but it's like what needs to happen. I don't think they're going to be expecting this. Three of 
three of cups, okay? Strength in reverse. Leo energy. Four of pentacles. And three of pentacles. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're going to hear from this person. They've been maybe quiet for a while, but they're about to come out of this hermit mode or whatever they've been in. Them not speaking. They're about to reach out to you. But they're just still not ready. They're not ready. They're coming back, but nothing is going to come of this. At least right now. Nothing is going to progress because this person is not ready. And there's still a lot of blockages and obstacles. For some of you, It's somebody is married. For some of you. There's still setbacks, but I see them coming back. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that, wow, guys, this is very clear. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the devil, this person has not changed and they are still toxic. They're very attached to you. They're very obsessive about you, but they have not changed. Lustful. Yeah. Greedy. Selfish. Jealous. They have not changed. Or they have not closed out some type of karmic cycle that they need to close out for some of you. Which is like a, a, a marriage or something like that. But, yeah. They're about to, yeah, let's see here. I, I feel like you guys are seeing everything. There's that tower. I told you. There's the tower. You guys are seeing everything clearly. You're starting to recover from this now. It's like you guys are hopeful. It's like you got, you've got you gotten the clarity. I feel like you guys maybe are very intuitive. You maybe know what's going to happen in the future. And it's like you're making peace with it. It's like you're like, if it's meant to be, it'll be. If we're, if we're supposed to be together, we'll be together. What is the Three of Cups? Justice. Somebody wants to come back together with you. But temperance in reverse, it's not going to come back together because Eight of Swords. What about the Chariot? I just feel like you guys know something. You know. You're moving past your limiting beliefs. There's definitely delays here. Somebody's not going to be happy. I'm just letting you know this person's going to be pissed. When they come towards you and try to perpetuate this cycle with you and you won't go back into it, they're going to be mad. I just see you guys. What's the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. You guys are pulling back your energy from this person, your love, your emotions. I feel like you guys are kind of hiding this. What does this mean for the collective? I don't know if I want to say hiding. Five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. You guys just don't. You want peace. You don't want the drama with this person anymore. You're sick of the in and out, wishy-washy energy with this person. Yeah, this person still hasn't made up their mind. Or maybe, what does this mean for the collective? You know this person's maybe coming towards you out of jealousy. Revenge, they're mad. I see this person being mad. Angry. We did have that anger card that kept coming out too. They're mad. Because... They're going to try to come in and convince, bribe you or convince you. I feel like this person's going to be mad because it's, it's something about their self-worth, guys. Every time they come towards you and you let them back in, that makes this person feel valuable. Because I told you, they need, I just saw, what, yeah, I just saw 30-30 on the camera. 3-3. Um,
the number 30 could be significant. Some of you guys could be 30 years old. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I feel like this person is coming towards you so that you can validate them and make them feel valuable because they need outside validation to make themselves feel valuable. They need you to kind of give them that refill of confidence and, you know, that ego boost. That was, that's what makes this person feel valuable. You're not giving it to them this time. So they're not, they're going to not, they're going to be upset about this. I'm just letting you guys know. You don't feel like this is something that you should, um, yeah, you, you just don't, you know, that it'd be careless to reconcile with this person or it's, it's, it's stupid for you to invest any more time, energy, money, whatever into this person right now, or you're not going to fill this person's cup or their, I don't even know if it's really cup because they're not even in their emotions. It's like, you're not going to pour, get, beat this person's ego anymore. That's what I'm going to say. You're not doing it just so that they can pull back from you once they get what they want. You give them their refill and then they pull back from you and then it makes you feel like crap. You're like, no, I'm not even gonna put myself in a situation to be, to, it's like maybe at some point you were feeling like, why is, like you were kind of like in this victim mentality, like, you know, this person just keeps hurting me, which they did, they did hurt you, they did treat you badly. But you also have a choice to not put yourself in that situation. When you know better, you do better. So you know this part, what this person does. You know the games they play. Now you guys are like, no, I need to be smarter this time and not put myself in a situation to let this person destroy me again. Because I feel like that's what this person does. Like whenever they pull back from you, that is, is super hurtful. It puts you in a bad place. It's like you got to start from scratch all over again and you're healing and working on yourself. Don't let this person come in and interrupt all that healing that we saw that you've been doing and working on yourself the growth that you've been, you know, that you've come into. Like, don't let them come in and do that because they're unwilling to grow and change um, and they're toxic. You know what I mean? So 